Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and good over applies to you, and today we are back on Pillars of Eternity PS4 Let's Play, where we are currently uh, getting murdered by a bunch of skeleton wizards. It's just a pack of mages. Uh, probably the worst possible scenario anyone could ever imagine. They just throw magic at you. Uh, okay, yeah, do that. I don't know if our healing hands will make it through in time, so yes, that. Okay, it seems to be working somewhat. Now, try to burn someone's soul, like this guy here. Die has been cast. Steel spine magus. I have never even heard of these damn things. <laughs> Not fair, suddenly coming up with new enemies to kill me. Yeah, try. Someone someone save Palatina. Palatina, save thyself! Okay, good. You healing hands yourself. Now do Acolyte's Radiance. And you heal the duck. And you, I'm actually not too worried about. Dare is rather well known for his resourcefulness, and fine, we can use that ability. However, we cannot use it in the way in which you intend. See, whenever these guys summon something, they summon it next to themselves. As if that's fucking useful. The whole point of being able to summon things from a distance is flanking. The ability to take your target by surprise in an area they are not protecting themselves in. Why the fuck else would you do it? See, I thought I would have more levels. Like, at least four more levels to get some offensive abilities, but no. No. For some reason, this thing blocked you off at 16. Why well, the fuck it's 16? There it is. Just kill this last one, please. I'm probably gonna have to rest after this, too. Belgium's health is in the red. I mean, actually, no, I really don't plan on resting after this. Oh, Dragon's not leveled up. Deal 150 damage to prone enemies to unlock the next level, or deal 750 damage to unlock the next level. 25% chance to cast Taste of the Hunt on hit or critical hits. Wait, what? What is Taste of the Hunt? 30. Um, um. Holy shit. It, isn't that a druid thing? Holy fucking shit! Damn! That is a perfect shield! They should see, see nothing some. while I see- Bring, Bring them down! The, the thing about stealing is, it's fine Bring as long as nobody catches you. As requested. No prisoners! And there's no one in this Little room. God. Therefore, it's okay. Wait, we just picked up some uh, grimoire, right? Yeah, exceptional scale armor, medium. Bracers of deflection. Yeah, I don't have to worry about any more party members. What you see is what we get. 
Grimoire. Doesn't refer to my ability to carry See, unlimited you can keep learning, of learning abilities, even if they are at max levels, because of this Grimoire thing. You know? But if you're uh, unfortunate enough to just be not a mage, then after level 16, the effect. No new abilities for you. My thoughts will be as silent as- KILL THEM ALL! Sable's research. Success with the new formula. The bonding with the vessel material is twice as strong as before. Presentation for cancel house will be excellent. I need to acquire more skills in this first before I de can demonstrate my experiment to the other princes. You give me any more gifts and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Considering how cutthroat you apprentices seem to I'll be, a try, uh, at least. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, that is a Do lot of skeletons. My mind feels sharp as steel. Here, Aloth, I'm about to do something that'll probably get you murdered. Oh, never mind. Oh, it looks like these skeletons weren't souped up, souped up like this guy. Oh. Oh. You're casting metal over the skeletons. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that would definitely beef them up strength-wise, but... Okay, nobody wants an army of useless pikes. Gold rot chew. Uh, I really don't want drugs, either. Yes, camping supplies. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, I think camping would be a good idea, right? And didn't we all have burns on us or something? Or we Alright, we already rested. And we had the burns. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to go back to um the through the camp and destroy tower. Yeah, you considering all the weird magical experiments these people are doing, I highly doubt the fucking mercenaries are were prepared for this. These mind control spells alone could probably rip them to shreds. They had no, no chance. It's almost sad. Hmm. Alright, all right, let's save. I'm still paranoid about all the, the whole saving thing. And the uh, whole recording thing. It's just that when it happens to you once. And now I'm checking the, my mic constantly to make sure it's working because uh, if you haven't noticed yet, my Fade Extella videos are having some issues. Mainly, I forgot I un I for I ended up accidentally muting myself. Accidentally muting yourself is not good. Breaks lab. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Hmm. Rar... Rariki? Rariki? Some combination of a word. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll be one of those cases where everything in the room will die after we kill him. Although I have my doubts. Watch it! Distract me again and you're like to lose an eye. Or whatever it is you've got. Even as she speaks, Almond looks not at you, but a row of weapons laid out on the table. Aren't you concerned about the Council Hot the... hasn't even bothered to come out of his study since the attack started, so why should I worry? Need something? I'm still busy here. 
I'm surprised I'm around to wander so If Consul Hot didn't want you here, you'd have known it the moment you came down those stairs. And then you'd be dead. If you were lucky. Uh, what are you doing? Cataloging weights, centers of gravity, controlling a three and a half foot blade in the air is harder than it looks. Bounce his sword from your index finger and jot some notes. Tell me about Cancel He's Hot. not someone you want to cross. Or disappoint. You know, I really should get back to work. Who else is in Crackholt? You're the only one who's talked to me who hasn't asked me to murder Aside everyone from else. Me, there are three other apprentices working on their own projects. I don't know anything about Sobel or Peldon, but stay away from Tanos, the Vithrak. There's something about him I don't trust. Well, he sent me to kill you, so that yeah. That spider put you up to this? He's using you, you know. Thinks he can control you like one of his mindless puppets. Tell you what, you help me instead, and I'll give you whatever he's offered plus a little extra. Deal? Hmm. Hmm. Now, see, I like to think of myself as a man of my word. And I've already promised to kill you all. But then again, the Vithrak has mind control techniques, and I really don't like those. Hmm. Good. Come back when you've got the other pieces of the key. Need something? I'm s that's a good start. Let me know when you found the rest and I'll give you my piece. Goodbye. I just don't trust mind control. So I'm going to kill him. Plus she was nice. Very polite. And you know, that means a lot. Let's close the door for a bit. Yay, key parts for Master's door. Thanos' mandibles jitter and click rapidly. Find all key parts from all other princes. And Thanos give last key part. I take you a piece of the key now. No, treacherous beast. Well, I mean... You were probably gonna murder me anyway. Or try to mind control me. Again, not a not a big trust of the whole mind control ability. Oh, because we're not technically in combat yet, I can't use it. There you go. Now are we considered in combat? Here, hit them with the tentacles. Holy shit, that is a lot of stuff on the table, I have no idea what's going on. I actually want to take the same enemy's target for... Yeah, we know detonate. Wait, where's that mind disintegration one? Okay, yeah, not enough focus. Dominate for something something and then something something. Go dominate the challenge. Okay, that plan didn't work. And then burn set his soul on fire. And you're stuck in close quarters, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, attack him. You're paralyzed. You are 
doing something. And me doing anything is semi-pointless. Well, you almost killed him with the whole frosty fingers coming at him. Nowhere thing. And I'll let a sigil now. Ingles killing bolts. Maybe try this. No, Beyond seek. Okay, that didn't work. In that case, where's the killing bolt? This will definitely kill you. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You really shouldn't have gotten in my way. Now die! Oh, yeah, that is the same as kill them and summon the phantom, right? Yeah, yeah, that summoned the phantom, not Kana. Kana, no phantom summoning for you. You, excellent. Uh, silent scream, maybe? Yeah, I can get both. Silent scream. Yeah, summon a dragon there to keep him occupied for a bit. We're gonna be a while. Okay, yeah, great. Sword summons the undead again. Uh, everything lags. The lag. The lag. What am I doing? Okay, okay, everything seems to be lagging just a little bit, and it's kind of annoying. Please stop. Oh, Thanos is dead. Sorry. Torque of Defiance. Of Defiance. Concentration. Energy concentration is generally charged and have their spell or attacks interrupted during combat. Eh. Neat. Only usable by Ranger. Ooh. Not Sony. Else, more than any of the others, you have chosen a path that complements your natural strengths. Your mind is a maze, and you use it to ensnare not only your thralls, but also your fellow pupils. They are blind to it because they look at you and see an animal. Which is why I shall only warn you once. Attach a tricky on me, and I will give your corpse to Pelden. I feel the workings of your mind as surely as you would feel a disturbance in your rib. You would display to me as readily as you'd follow me. But the first defense of any wizard is a ward in mine, and I have had centuries to strengthen mine. Plus, Vithrak brain is an ingredient for things. The term godlike doesn't refer to my ability to You give me any more gifts, people will start wonders. thinking you're playing oh, favorites. Spoilies. Oh, he has Vithrak brains too. I mean, I know it's a... Very nice ingredient, but still. I'm not going anywhere like this. Let's have it out! Let's have it out! Yeah, I don't care about stealing. Who gives a shit if I'm stealing or not? Morality? Ta! lie you delude yourself with. Well, I'm surprised you spirit things haven't cracked down on me at all. I'm, I'm doing more than disturbing your apprentices here. I'm sort of murdering them all. My thoughts will... Oh, I'll give it a try, at least. I will them all! As requested. Do you see oh, scene? fuck. Okay, that was a trap we did not know about. Okay, I don't know what the room is considered as. So I kind of don't want to the piss dark. them off. Alright, everyone, get in here. I think I see something. Track detected. I can do them down. Disarm it. No! Bring I'll them give it down. a try, at least. 
I'd gladly shoulder the lo- no! I'll give it a try, at least. The last tower. Minus eight accuracy after speed. Major spellbind armor of faith exceptional. Caress. Plus four damage reduction. I'd gladly nice. shoulder the load, but the pack won't hold anymore. Alright. We're gonna rest anyway, so you can trigger the trap. Your I'll tail ends trot, here, at least. Do you cease to see me? Oh fuck! Artillery! Bring them the down, at least, as requested. Bring them down. Yeah, it's over. If you give me any more pack, gifts, and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. That was a lot of gems. And I have a feeling if we go in there now, we will die. Rest! Eight hours have passed. Okay, yep, yeah, those are our goals. Uh, Paladin. The laboratory reeks of rotting flesh, but the elf doesn't seem to notice. He's busy writing notes into a small book. He doesn't even look up as you approach, but he frowns when your shadow falls across his face. Stand back, ghoul. I'll summon you when I have need of you. You say so, but don't you know, want to know how I taught myself to speak? He finally looks up at you, startled near Effigy's eyes, who are you? He shakes his head and waves a hand, nearly grazing you with his I pen. I don't have time for this. Get out of here and leave me to my work, all right? Uh, these schools are different. More docile and less rotten. I should hope so. I've been trying to stabilize them, prevent them from decaying further. He looks at you out of the corners of his eyes. Of course, the process is not yet complete. Can you tell me about Cancel Hut? He glances up at you long enough to use his If square. you've never studied his repertoire of spell work, Never read of his accomplishments in Maestra Albena's histories of modern magic, and somehow missed the small army he's held back outside? Then no, I don't know what to tell you. Except that he's a powerful wizard with little patience. Yeah. Why must you bother me with such inane questions? Go interrupt one of the other... Looks up. The sheik's flush and his eyes wide Has my progress been too slow? Did... He snaps his book and shows his hand. And raises his hand, incantation already in his lips. Get off the knock at me! I just want your shit! You are the easiest apprentice to defeat. I want you to know that as you die, you are worthless. <laughs> So much for you. I mean, considering, you know, there's all this magical shit and everything. Why exactly does no one notice the fact that I'm wielding the hammer? Oh my god. I just, I just have a piece of the hammer of a divine being in my hands at all times. Nobody seems to give a shit. But me. Amplified wave. Oh shit, that did hurt. That looked painful. It was. Hmm, yeah, this isn't gonna kill anyone. Damn. I really like using a detonate on people. It's going to. Oh shit, it would have killed him. Oh well. And I can do about it now. Now I just want to burn their souls to ash. And... Uh. This rotting mess. 
dust instead of bone. Run big Abaddon's head and smash something's head in. How do you need me to direct you? Get your pathfinding in order. Yeah, you can use a gun now. St. Garum Spark! Oh, a shield level. Cult enemies with Jackamaw shield to unlock the next level. Grants Fear Aura! Terrified for three seconds! <laughs> this thing is evil! I love it. It's a shame. It's almost a shame I can't use it myself. No, Holly, sit. So you have plenty of blankie here. Sit. The sweet potatoes. I mean, I've killed dragons. I've also let dragons go. Now, I have a storied past with dragons. Decreases critical damage. Necklace of fireballs. Grants fireball. Overseeing. The term godlike doesn't Let's refer to my junk. ability to oh. carry unlimited quantities of Oh, we're weapons. out of space. Well, no, that I'll is extremely unfortunate. Oh, wait. I don't know one to watch me. Who gives a shit? It's not like I can even the grab anything. Godlike doesn't refer to my yeah, my I can't even grab anything. Carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. What is that? Consecrated ground. Who's emitting it? He won't see me coming. Well, anyway, I guess that's all the notes. Uh, now, where would they be? There you go. Yeah, quest. Uh, would it be at the bottom? Peldon. Yes. Examine. Peldon, you're the most talented of my apprentices, but your understanding is nearly a page among the tomes of knowledge I've accumulated. Curve your pride until you've earned it. No weakness is deadlier. I can almost see your hand shaking and your face reddening as you read this. You think that mastering a few basic hexes makes you my worthy pupil. I'd craft a parasitic staff when I was half your age. And while I worked, my peers plotted against me. They may have surpassed the others for now, but they will band together against you if you give them reason. Conceal your skill with mistakes. Hide your malice by and smile. Sacrifice your vanity for a few precious years and you might survive long enough to earn the title of wizard. Become a wizard! Sable, it gives me pride to see what you've suffered for your craft. The other apprentices may be more learned than you, but none match your tenacity. If you understand something, they do not. Your body is a shell. If you are to achieve the power you desire, you will outlive it. Your fellows fight and scheme against one another. Only you recognize your true foe. Dragon Iron... Dragon Iron... Wait, I have ten? Why do I have zero? Hmm. Maybe if I put it in the forge, I can refine it or somehow? I mean, well, yeah, I get, I filled up. Shit. Damn it, I can't even go look into the damn grimoire. Alright then, I guess the inventory's full. How much time do I have left? 25 minutes! Fuck! Well, I guess we'll be right back. Damn, I was hoping to end the episode. Okay, so I went back to, uh, Kate Nua, you know, to Bright Hollow and all that, to sell my shit, put shit in boxes and sleep. And when I slept, this started. The morning is cold and silent. You are upon the plateau of the birthing bell, and there is no sound, no wind. The sky is a smooth, mortared gray. The forest beneath the plateau, nothing more than a jagged black silhouette. Even the rock, the Adra around you, it feels colder. The sun's warmth bled from it. Against the cold backdrop of the sky, you see the great birthing bell hanging from its arch of Adra. Its surface is tarnished, and the shadows inside the bell are dark. Still, it seems to press down upon you, or simply, sadly watching. 
as if standing above a grave formed from the table of the plateau and the reins of the mother's womb that now covers its surface. And there's something heavy in your hands. It breathes, gurgling, slick and wet, yet that is all it is. You find yourself filled with fear. You don't want to look at what you're holding. You don't want to touch it with your mind, and it is all you can do not to cast it from you. The mass for you is vacant, flesh in the shape of a newborn. Bubbles of saliva bunch at the mouth, expelled by its steady gurgling breath. Its arms, legs, head lolling, limp. No thought, no struggle, no desire to cry and protest or pain. There is nothing from within. There is an absence in your hands. Your hands tremble, shake, and the silence is broken as the chimes on your wrist echo with the trembling. The chimes not echo in the thoughts of the mass in your hands. There is no soul within it to hear it. The only emotions blanketing the plateau are the pain of the mother. The child breathes, its heart beat, but it makes no cry. The child feels light, empty. There is no joy in it, no fear, no thoughts at all. In the hollow inside it, it breathes, a thing of habit, not life. You cannot move. Your trembling has subsided, and the birthing chimes on your wrists are as still as the child. The mother is crying eager to see, begging to see the child. You feel a sudden spike of fear, of being hunted. If you give the child to the mother, you will be blamed, and her anguish and rage shall fall upon you. She will not spare you or anyone you love, of this you are certain. But you did not cause this. You don't think you caused it. And the mother begs, her arm outstretched. The chimes sound once more as you give the child to its mother, and as the chime fades, there's the eager gleam, the welling joy, the questioning, and you draw upon it deeply. Letting the hope stream into her eyes, letting her ears fill with the cries that you have heard countless times pass from other children on the bell. You hear the laughter in the mother's voice, and streams of tears that run down her face. And with a practice motion, you weave a life that will never be into her eyes and thoughts. She will care for the child as if it were whole until you set her free. She will care for it until you find a way to heal what has happened, until the reality cannot be dispelled anymore. And still, cradled beneath the weeping woman that birthed the child in her arms, does not hear the cries of the mother, does not react. It is an empty thing that breathes and carries nothing within it. The chimes on your wrists lie still. They are bound to you like chains, never to sound inside a newborn's mind ever again. Wake up! Hello, grieving mother. You are very naughty. Your mind comes bearing questions. I had questions. I saw Allah born at the birthing bell. The grieving mother's head bows, and she raises her hands, cradling them slowly so the chimes don't sound as she moves them. You feel a chill in the air, as if the vault of your mind is growing, too large for the thoughts within, and your breath is laced with a chill. To your horror, you hear her breathing, ragged, hacking, but strangely steady. You can see saliva bunching at the corners of her lips, becoming thick ropes of jewel that cast themselves down her chin. There's the smell of blood in the air, new, wet, and the salt. Sharp tang in your mind. Coupled with this is the smell of sodden undergarments clawing at your senses. Take her shoulder, steady her. Stepping forward, your hand falls on her shoulder, and then you feel her begin to fall, rigid as a falling stone, and you place your other hand on her shoulder to steady her. Throughout, there's a hard, steady breathing. Her clothes are wet. It is as if she is burning with fever beneath her tangled hair and beneath her threadbare robes, as if she is giving birth. With a slow hissing intake of breath, her head rolls back on her shoulders, her eyes pressed tightly together like the lids of a newborn, yet past the lids you can feel a piercing stare, vacant, cold, horribly, you sense nothing from her, not a thought, like the hollowborn you held in her memory. You know if you try and pull away now, she will vanish into herself, and vanish from your thoughts, perhaps forever. You have a terrible feeling that whatever connects the two of you will be cut. She is as helpless before you as a child, and you search your thoughts for a way to coax her to you. Imagine the cries of the newborn from the first memory when you were wet. She jerks slightly before you, then her head tilts, and the steady breathing breaks, and she gives a rackling cry. I... thought it was my doing. I... Thought that I had stilled it with my thoughts. The child. It was just a child. What was done with it? You helped give birth to a hollowborn, yet you made the mother think otherwise. 
The breathing is steady again, but there is a life in it where there was not one before, and her emotions are building in her. Apprehension, confusion, welling up. She seems afraid to do more than simply be aware of the memory. Is there... There was not the last hollow born on the birthing bell, and never again did I hear a child's cry. You have found a death within me, one that many women have borne within them. The words spiral, the words swirl with impulses and white spiraling around her, and you feel as if you're being dragged into it. I sought to serve women in need, and instead my hands ushered no new life. What happened next, I bear the responsibility for. And what happened? The first birth was the deepest, the saddest. Nothing I could do could find the child's spirit, guide it to him. You feel a strange absence between you, as if your thoughts are being shared across a great distance. The thought bleeds out for a moment, then returns, sharp, near, personal. I can understand what had happened, what I might have done. I feared I... No, I could not dwell on that thought. The child was always there, always a reminder of what had happened, a marker. I made her care for it, I made them all care for it, until I could find what I had, what had gone wrong. Uh, but the hollow barn, it wasn't your doing. It happened elsewhere. Little word of the outside world reached us. It was enough time for rage and pain and grief to guide hands. I feared what would happen to the children. What would happen to me? Every mother knows her womb may shed a stillborn. But these cold, soulless creatures... The parents wouldn't have understood. And fear of the unknown breeds violence. She, she has a point there. <laughs> People have a... Just aren't able to handle the unknown in groups. I held their minds within mine. I shaped and guided them as long as I could. And with each passing day, each new birth, the strain grew. And the more I felt my control slipping, the more I focused my thoughts. Eventually, even I succumbed to the power of my own illusion. I'd woven the thread so tightly that I could no longer see through them. And then one morning, I heard funeral bells tolling in the village. The sounds of wailing rose through the mists. A mother had died, her mind so focused on the care of her hollow-born child that she'd neglected even to feed herself. And with that, the illusion broke. The town folk saw their hollow-born the way they were, not the way I'd wished them to see. For the end day, they began to look at me differently, too. I didn't understand what had happened, but I knew enough to flee. And every suspicion that surfaced, every faded memory of what I'd done, I pressed it down, tucked it away. She feels cold, lonely, rigid. My skill failed me, but I did what was necessary. I regret the mother's death, but how much worse would it have been had I not acted? Yeah, there are other ways. The choices you speak of are not always clear in crisis. Not in True, hindsight's twenty twenty. The first mother begged for her child, and I had to decide what I would give her. How could I have known where that path would lead, or that there were others seeking the same answers? And even so, that hesitation would have cost a young life. Eh, even for mercies around, we must accept that there are some things we cannot control. Green Mother's mind is silent and still for several moments. She lets your words wash over her, seeping into cracks in her own thoughts. My actions only caused more misery. Worse, I took from an entire village, made them as empty and helpless as the children I sought to protect. But what then? Is it better to stand by in the face of tragedy, to let it wash over the world a hungry tide? The world has a way of writing itself eventually. You must let it do so. <sighs> Sometimes, if your actions would only make it worse. I meant to soothe their pain, as I had done for so many mothers in the throes of labor. But my thoughts became a trap, a prison, for the village and for me. Your words have soothed my mind, in ways I did not expect. I thank you, Watcher, for the gift of your sight, for using it to guide me out of the prison of my mind. Let us hope it can also free you from the illusions Theos has woven around you. Alright, and... Shit, burned myself to death. Yeah, that was not enough time to take up the full timer. <laughs> uh, we'll be back.
right back. And we are back. And we are in the caves. Because I figure they have to connect here somewhere. So may as well go through the cave. Steals. Oh. Well, now we know what killed us the first time we went through here. Maybe we'll do better? Oh, never mind. No. A. No, 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 no. Why are you using that? Fine, use Traitor's Merit. You can switch to melee weapon too. Everyone besides Aloth switch to a melee weapon. Apparently it's just one of those days. Holy shit. What the hell? Were we not supposed to come through this way or some shit? The Void Seers didn't try to kill us last time. Someone aim for those fucking Void Seers before they rip us to shreds, please? The steel spines are the least of our problems. Burn its soul! It's essentially just a soul at this point, isn't it? You heal yourself. You heal the pet. You use this. Then I give one of you... I could have sworn I gave one of you something. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's great. I didn't know about that because that was too close range. Oaken Scarab, try that. Hundred and six endurance. Take it. Just shove the potion in. Oh wait, is 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 that that orb that bounces between things? Okay, listen, if I knew that going through this cave meant certain death, I wouldn't have gone through this fucking cave. <laughs> Alright, Aloth. You're gonna be pulling out everything in the spell book. No, Wall of Draining doesn't have enough area of effect. I know that'll kill something, at least. Ancient death. <laughs> Why the fuck did I come this way again? Here, hit that void seer. Hit that void seer with that pure raw damage. Lavaru. Yon seek. Oh, I don't give a fuck if it kills a wood beetle. Do I look like I give a fuck? No, that's no good. I had an extra- here it is! You're making me use all my damn- Okay, everyone finish using your abilities first. Okay, good. That Void Seer is pretty much dead now. I think Middle Adam's Minor Missile should finish it off if Grieving Mother can't. You pull out the spider! Because apparently everything's in here is trying to fucking kill us. What the 
fuck was that? Did that void seer just explode or something? Your grieving mother needs help. You do that. <laughs> you do that. And you stop paralyzing things! Yeah, at least summon a dragon or something. That would be useful. Or a drake, wyvern, whatever the fuck this game wants to call it. I don't give a damn. Kill all the fucking little spiders you want to kill. I do not know how this ability works. It doesn't want to target allies, so I get to do that. I need some okay, it travels through allies, I guess. Weird. Alright, now is this thing ready to die? Yes, you will die here. <laughs> Eternal Death Guard, please rest in fucking peace. As far away from me as possible. Wow, that spider figurine I got from in here is really useful. Okay, damn, this thing's gonna be piecemeal. Uh, anyway, uh, let's save. Let's we probably could have died from that if we weren't careful. And we're all max level, so it's not like we can come back stronger than before. <laughs> because this is as strong as we get. With my best party! Exceptional pistol and some potions. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should switch to ranged for now. Uh, you can stay melee, but you should also switch to range. Eyes open. Pillar of Holy Fire Trap. Oh. It was fucking pointless to come this way, apparently. Because I didn't open it from that side first. <sighs> well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm ending the episode here. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you'd like, comment, comment, subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else supplies to you. And it is late, so I think I'll just record the rest of this week's videos tomorrow or something. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you.